Welcome back folks. So today we're talking about the dress tab. So first things first, I'm going to be ranking all these items here. And our first item here is the sewing kit. The sewing kit goes in S tier, and that's because it can be used to repair other items that are in S tier. So it's just S tier because there are other items that are S tier. It's cheap to repair them with, and so it makes them better. So it's S tier. Next up, we got the garland going right down into F tier here this all it does is it takes like 12 flower petals and it lets you restore sanity while worn it restores an extremely small amount of sanity and really you should be using the head slot for a helmet instead you really don't need sanity all that much and there are other better ways to gather it the garland also encourages flower picking which you really shouldn't do because it's nice to have flowers just randomly around the world that way as you run past you can kill butterflies they spawn and use them for healing next up we got the straw hats the straw hats going down in f tier it's not a useful item it's used in a crafting recipe for a few things but the things it's used in a crafting recipe for aren't useful so it's in f tier it can also be used to lower overheating and some amount of wetness, I think, too. So if rain's pelting, yeah, it can help a little bit with that, but it's not very good at it. So I'm putting it down in F tier. Too expensive for what it does. Top hat. So the top hat can go right down. Oh, I want to say F tier, but I actually can't put it in F tier. I have to put it in S tier because it is a requirement required item to make the prestahatitator which is required before all other magic items and there's a whole bunch of magic items that are really really good so technically it's s tier as far as wearing it no horrible item don't do that you don't need the sandy gain it gives you use a helmet instead and if shadow creatures become a problem just fight them with your helmet on and then that'll restore his sandy or you can just pick cactus with your helmet on and then cook that up and use that for sandy. Beekeeper's hat. So uh, this, we're going to put up in A tier. This is a good use for extra silk, especially as you get in the late game, because you can use it to fight the bee queen with. So pretty good item. And I like it. Uh, generally not a great item for, you know, like normal use. It's basically just used for fighting the bee queen. So it's extremely specific. But otherwise, you really don't get many uses to get rid of all that silk because most of the items it's used for aren't very good uh, bunny muffs going down in f tier so these help with winter insulation they'll make you stay warm longer you're still better off with a helmet if you are finding yourself struggling with the cold in winter make sure that you have a thermal stone and before you head out what you can do is burn two trees that are next to each other normally i'll try and pick ones that aren't next to anything else flammable or put two fire pits next to each other and then max them out and then just sit in between those and then only head out once the outside of your screen is turning orange. That way you'll get a long time where you can go around and you can play the game for a bit and you won't be constantly needing to warm up. Usually when newer players are always talking about how they need these winter clothing items, they're just warming up wrong and so that's really the reason why they think they need these items, but they really don't. Orange on the thermal stone does not indicate your max temperature, just understand that. Beefalo hat, so this can be used to make it so beefalo are not aggressive to you even when uh, it's their mating season. And it can also be used as the best quote unquote insulation gear in the head slot. So it'll make you stay warm longer. Bad use case, again, you don't need insulation items. It's ineffective. Uh, I'm going to put this down in E tier because once in a rare while, you might want to move beefalo somewhere else for certain automatic farms i don't like to play games that late like normally i think those farms are built like past day a thousand if you're going for efficiency and nothing really matters at that point once you kill like ancient fuel weaver nothing matters so i don't like this item i'd wear a football helmet instead feather hat so this makes it some more bird spawn uh f tier item uh it's not useful i just don't see any use for it you could say it's useful with birds of the world i just don't see it krampus farming isn't effective all that jazz blah 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 no to feather hat bush hat this can be used for certain farms like uh the bee queen farm which they've actually nerfed heavily in more recent updates by making the bee queen more aggressive to players so before it would have been you know like an a tier item before they buffed bee queen like that but now i'm gonna put it in b tier it can still be used very usefully in quite a few situations but it's kind of niche even for those situations and they're pretty late game and at which point you have other options in it 
So the winter hat, yeah, this is just going down an F tier. This is a, I think it's a mid tier insulation hat. Bad item. Dapper vest. This makes you restore sanity while worn. It restores quite a bit of sanity compared to other dress items. But man, that is a waste of the body. So I would much rather wear like a backpack or something useful. And almost every player just does this where they wear the backpack almost all the time. Eventually, once you learn the game a bit more, you'll start using the Madge Luminescence. Or maybe you'll even find a Krampus sack eventually, right? But really, that body slot has so many really good uses. I'd never use it on restoring Sandy. Once again, you can just pick Cactus and cook it up to restore your Sandy. It heals 15 Sandy each. You can get like 100 Sandy out of that, I mean, in like under a minute. No big deal. So I don't see the point. Breezy Vest, F tier. There's another installation item. And like I was just saying, it goes in the body slot, which is pretty useful generally. And so we don't want to use that up for installation items that are unnecessary. Same thing goes for Puffy Vest. It's also going in F tier, even though its installation is higher. I don't care. Walking Cane, S tier. This is actually the single best item in the entire game. If you were to ask me what item I wanted to start off with at the start of every single run, it would be the walking cane. Some players would be like, oh, I want a Krampus sack or I want this, I want that. Uh, really the only better item you could say than a walking cane as your preferred starting item would be a lazy explorer, which is literally just an upgraded walking cane that requires a walking cane to craft. So a great item increases your movement speed an absurd amount it's a permanent weak weapon so it doesn't break great item love it uh the melon hat this item used to have a bug that made it so that you'd never freeze uh it used to be useful back then but that was so long ago now what it's used for is you don't burn to death in summer what you could do to avoid that better is just go down into the caves where you actually won't overheat in the caves and there's really no downside due to summer in the caves. So really, that's just what I end up doing. I just sit in the caves all summer and then pop my head back up once summer's over and don't really worry about all this stuff because this is all so expensive to build all these items and maintain the surface lifestyle during the summer. Really just going down into the caves is better. Ice cube hat is also used for making you cold that you don't burn to death in the summer. Once again, go down into the caves. This is another summer item. Uh, we're going to put it right here. F tier. It wastes the body slot too and makes it so that you don't burn to death. Blah, blah, blah. Go to the caves. Same for this one. Also F tier. Uh, F tier is getting a bit too long here now. I'm going to have to start throwing some items elsewhere. Cat cap. Another F tier item, we'll throw it right there. It will keep you warm for a little bit and it also does sandy. This is basically just a direct downgrade to the Tam O'Shanter actually in like every way. I don't know why anyone would ever make that item. If that, we had like an F minus tier, the cat cap would go in that. You do not need to warm yourself up before going out with these insulation items. You don't need them. You don't need sanity from these dress items. Okay, rain hat. So rain hat also has to go down an F tier, although I like what it's trying to do. So what it's trying to do is make it so that you aren't, you know, wet in the winter, right? So, I mean, not the winter, the spring, which is something that's actually very useful because rain can really, really mess you up when there's heavy rain. It has so many absurd downsides. The thing is though, what you have to do is get to 100% rain protection. Otherwise, you aren't able to clear off the extra wetness you've accumulated while wearing other items. So I think this is just like 90% it gives you and there's not really a good other item to pair it with that makes sense to use to get over that 100% mark. You'd have to use your body slot or your hand slot then also, which both have items with really, really high getting rid of uh, the wetness protection, such as the raincoat, which I'm going to put up in let's say a tier this could be a pretty useful item so why the raincoat is useful is because it provides a hundred percent protection to the rain and also i think it provides some protection to the cold which we really don't care about it doesn't really matter but the hundred percent rain protection like i was just saying is very very important it also provides insulation or whatever it's called that makes it so that lightning doesn't hurt you with this it gets you to that 100 and if you don't have an umbrella like if you're playing in a group of players it's a 
pretty good alternative for when that rain starts up really hard because you don't really have other options to avoid the rain. Your other next best option would be an umbrella and a football helmet. That's actually my preferred go-to, but some players just don't like to do that because they want their primary slot open. And that's perfectly fine. That works very well. So I'd say it's an A tier item. Next up, we got the High Bear Nation vest. So this is kind of an odd item. So what it does is it makes it so that you use less hunger while wearing it and so that you're also, it has a lot of insulation. Now this item, I have to put down an F tier. In the regular game, Don't Starve, not Don't Starve Together. It's actually a lot better, but with the way heat works and Don't Starve Together, it's just not applicable. So the issue with this is you'd think this might be useful for like Wolfgang or something, but Wolfgang can gather a lot of food really quickly just by killing monsters. So it's not a very big deal and once again its major upside is supposed to be that insulation with that kind of extra upside of the less hunger drain and this is a really really late game item i gotta say too you gotta wait for a second autumn to get this so yeah kind of hard to get too and just really it's that issue with the insulation again just use a thermal stone don't worry about it use a backpack you're all good Umbrella. So this is the best item pr to protect you from the rain. You can only get one per winter though is the thing. So that's why you have this actually still being useful. And so I have to put this thing up in S tier. This is my go-to to get rid of uh, any rain or whatever that's becoming an issue in spring. So Umbrella, great item. It goes in the head slot and gives 100% protection to rain. Generally, I see the head slot as a little bit weaker than the body slot because the body slot has so many options. It has uh, armor it has backpacks it has speed increasing amulet all sorts of other stuff too that can go in it compared to the head slots which is basically just armor usually and the umbrella so i think this is called the sea wreath so this thing's basically like the garland so it's absolutely terrible it basically it does very very little but what this one does is it actually drains your sandy instead of raises your sandy so it's supposed to help with like the enlightenment on lunar island or whatever it's called that you don't get attacked by the little white whisk sandy is basically like backward there and in the uh like the lunar grotto too in the cave but you just really don't need this it's ineffective if you're trying to lower your sandy that way you could jump through a wormhole a couple times eat a monster meat or two losing sandy is absurdly easy i mean eat a couple blue mushrooms it's all over the place ways to lose sandy so this is even less effective than the garland would be total pain why would you waste the head slot on this? I don't get why they added this to the game after the garland. I mean, no one uses the garland. Blue mushroom fun cap. So I get what they were trying to do here. And this was so close to being a good item when they added it. So the fun caps, they're all basically the same, except they're crafted with different mushrooms. So the blue fun cap is actually the worst one out of them then because blue mushrooms are the best type of mushroom. So it's technically more expensive. The thing is here with the fun caps, what they do is they make it so that your hunger drains slower. They also make it so that food bots faster in your inventory with these on they decay faster the issue with that is if you generally use a hand bat one of the best weapons in the game it'll rot really fast even if you're trying to just eat food as you go and walk around place i thought this item when it came out was almost certainly going to be useful for Wolfgang. That's not the case. Sadly, I've got to put them da all down in F tier. I really wish Clay would go ahead and remove the thing where it like rots food faster because then I could really see it bopping up to like C tier or something then, especially since you have to fight Toadstool for these. I mean, Toadstool is an absurdly difficult boss. I really shouldn't even say difficult because the fight is easy. He just takes so many resources. He has so much health. He's extremely easy to kite. You have to like chop down trees really fast. He's a huge pain is what he is. And he has no useful drop. So it would really do the game some good if they just removed that whole spoilage thing. Fashion goggles. So these I'll put in C tier because they're used to make desert goggles. Wearing them is terrible, but you have to have them for desert goggles. Desert goggles are also going in C tier. Desert goggles are useful if you are mega basing because oftentimes you'll mega base in the oasis. That way things don't spontaneously combust. And they're also useful if you're basing in the oasis because you'll need to be there for like, you know, a couple of days. And then you'll also be able to visit your base even during summer when normally you'd want to stay underground because things won't spontaneously combust around you. So yeah, if you're doing either of those things, it's useful. If you're based anywhere else, it's not useful generally unless you're playing the game for like a thousand days plus because it's just faster to go and wade 
through the sandstorm and kill antlion without wearing the stupid things you can kite antlion without these on by the way you don't need them to kite antlion because his attack hitboxes are like two pixels so i wouldn't really worry about it uh clever disguise as far as i understand in like mega basing worlds you can use this to make it so that Wartox is not attacked by bunny men, even though this is generally an item meant for wart. So, and then also it's, gen it's useful for like general characters to make it so merms don't attack them. So let's put this item up in A tier, purely for mega basers. I mean, I'm probably not going to go and make one of these specifically unless I'm playing the game for like a couple hundred days or more. But if I am, in that situation, it's useful. And Walter's... Hat. This is supposed to, it helps reduce the sandy drain when he gets attacked. Makes it like half as much sandy drain upon getting hit, which is like Walter's downside that he has. The, and then it also has like some other upsides. Like I think it helps with rain a little bit, helps with heat a little bit, and then also gives a little bit of sandy. Uh, and he starts off with it. I guess you could wear it for like the first day or so until you get a football hat. So, well, you could put that down in E tier. It might help you an ever so slightly amount. Oh, I can't put it down in F tier, but it's really trying. Yeah, and that's it. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe for more.